Yes, this is the part we want to emphasize. In this scale, if we look at all the notes, we are including a D flat and a G flat. But in all of our other pentatonic parallel, the D flat and G flat are never included. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 47 Lead. In today's episode, we re entered. Uh, we completed working with our textures uh, since the last stream, and we showed that off. Um, and we thought about how to have a pentatonic parallel scale that uses D flat and G flat, which you just saw us showing off. Um, our reflection is when we look at the pitch wheel uh, for the C minor major scale, the one we just finished working on, we can actually see mirror uh, negative harmony, mirror harmony working. This is the line of reflection. So the root is C and the neutral is G, and they reflect. F and D are, have no function and you reflect. B flat and A are nuns. E flat and E are modes, urges, and things that are not in the tone. So every, every note on this side has a reflected note on the right hand side of the red line, the line of reflection. And every reflection has the same job. So E flat here is the mode, which is moody. And then E is the moody note in the major scale and so forth. So that was kind of, we hadn't noticed this until we did the animation uh, where that was part of the animation. So that was kind of cool. Um, we were indeed able to create a scale, a custom scale that has the D flat, there it is, and the G flat. And as you can see here, it's in a traditional wheel uh, where we go around the like that. And so the C reflects to the G, the D flat, which is a minor mode, and the G flat, which is the major mode, and the B, which is an urge, and the A flat is an urge. So we did all that and we came up and we made it into a reference score like this, including all the chords. <clears throat> so the scale sounds like this. And then the tonic chords. And dominant and all of that. So we thought, well, that's cool. And then this reminded us of another scale, the uh, first pentatonic parallel scale, which also is a 5-5-6. Five, five, and also, it turns out that beef, uh, it has it has two urge notes that both the minor and the major use, and this does as well. So we started playing these back and forth against each other, and we came up with our very first improvisation, which we're calling Hybrid Reach, which we're going to play for you, and that should bring us home. But the idea is the first line is the C3663 scale, the second line is the C1661, and they take turns playing, and we try to arrange it in an interesting sounding manner. So short and sweet. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about, as always, doing a quick improvisation is just getting something onto the musical canvas that we can listen to and have some kind of a sense of a, you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end. It also intrigues us that it's it naturally ends on the B, which turns out in the two scales is an urge note for both scales, but they but they both have B as an urge note and they both use it for minor major. So, so we have a unification here. You could say, you know, unity, unity of scales at end, common B shared urge. Yes, 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 yes. Where are you? Like that. Even. So, our ideas for next time are to keep working with the hybrid reach composition, see where else we want to go with that, especially the 1661 scale. 
Uh, and then shout outs to Accut and Urson Music for stopping by. Uh, thank you so much. And tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.